Hello and welcome to Evening Prayer this evening. It's lovely that you are able to join us for this time of prayer and reflection in the Anglican tradition. My name is Donna Peterson and I am the Reverend, the Vicar of St Peter's Anglican Church in Wynnum and I bid you welcome as I offer this daily office from a prayer book for Australia. Let's begin. May the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing so that by the power of the Holy Spirit we may abound in hope. Glory to God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and for ever. Amen. Our first canticle, the Song of Hope. The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me, because the Lord has anointed me to bring good tidings to the afflicted. The Lord has sent me to bind up the broken-hearted, to proclaim liberty for the captives and release for those in prison, to comfort all who mourn, to bestow on them a crown of beauty instead of ashes, the oil of gladness instead of mourning, a garment of splendour for the heavy heart. They shall be called trees of righteousness, planted for the glory of the Lord. The day is now past and the night is at hand. Let us pray with one heart and mind. Father of lights, receive the prayer and praise we offer you as our evening sacrifice. Make us a light for all the world, delivered by your goodness from all the works of darkness, through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. Amen. Psalm 103 Praise the Lord, O my soul. And all that is within me, praise his holy name. Praise the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. Who forgives all your sin and heals all your infirmities? Who redeems your life from the pit and crowns you with mercy and compassion? Who satisfies your being with good things so that your youth is renewed like an eagle's? The Lord works righteousness and justice for all who are oppressed. He made known his ways to Moses and his works to the children of Israel. The Lord is full of compassion and mercy, slow to anger and of great goodness. He will not always be chiding, nor will he keep his anger forever. He has not dealt with us according to our sins nor rewarded us according to our wickedness. For as the heavens are high above the earth, so great is his mercy over those that fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far has he set our sins from us. As a father is tender towards his children, so is the Lord tender to those that fear him. For he knows of what we are made, He remembers that we are but dust. Our days are but as grass. We flourish like a flower of the field. When the wind goes over it, it is gone, and its place will know it no more. But the merciful goodness of the Lord endures for ever and ever towards those that fear him, and his righteousness upon their children's children, upon those who keep his covenant and remember his commandments to do them. The Lord has established his throne in heaven, and his kingdom rules over all. Praise the Lord, all you his angels, you that excel in strength, you that fulfill his word and obey the voice of his commandment. Praise the Lord, all you his hosts, his servants who do his will. Praise the Lord, all his works, in all places of his dominion. Praise the Lord, O my soul. God, who wonderfully created us and even more wonderfully restored our humanity, strengthen us by your Holy Spirit to triumph over suffering and death and grant us eternal joy through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The second reading for this evening is from 1 Peter, Book 1, reading verses 1 to 9. 1 Peter 
Peter, an apostle of Jesus Christ, to the exiles of the dispersion in Pontus, Galatia, Cappadocia, Asia, and Bithynia, who have been chosen and destined by God the Father and sanctified by the Spirit to be obedient to Jesus Christ and to be sprinkled with his blood. May grace and peace be yours in abundance. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. By his great mercy, he has given us a new birth in a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead and into an inheritance that is imperishable, undefiled and unfading, kept in heaven for you who are being protected by the power of God through faith for a salvation ready to be revealed in the last time. In this you rejoice, even if now for a little while you have had to suffer various trials, so that the genuineness of your faith, being more precious than gold that, though perishable, is tested by fire, may be found to result in praise and glory and honour when Jesus Christ is revealed. Although you have not seen him, you love him, and even though you do not see him now, you believe in him and rejoice in an indescribable and glorious joy. For you are receiving the outcome of your faith, the salvation of your souls. Hear the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. May your word live in us and bear much fruit to your glory. Our second canticle, A Song of God's Children. In Christ Jesus, the life-giving law of the Spirit has set us free from the law of sin and death. All who are led by the Spirit of God are children of God. It is the Spirit that enables us to cry, Abba, Father. The Spirit bears witness that we are God's children, and if God's children, then heirs of God. We are heirs of God and fellow heirs with Christ. If we share his sufferings now, we shall be glorified with him hereafter. These sufferings that we now endure are not worth comparing with the glory that shall be revealed. For the creation waits with eager longing for the revealing of the children of God. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us now say together the Lord's Prayer. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sin, as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Our Collect Prayer Almighty God, in your wisdom you have so ordered our earthly life that we must walk by faith and not by sight. Give us such trust in your fatherly care that in the face of all perplexities, we may give proof of our faith by the courage of our lives. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Holy and loving God, as we open ourselves to your spirit, to your wisdom and to your grace, We offer you the prayers for this day, for our lives, and for those who mean so much to us. Lord, we pray for our world, for the leaders of this planet, for each leader of country, place, and person. We ask that you guide your leaders with wisdom, with your power, and with your compassion for justice and rightness. We pray that everyone may be able to live in peace, 
that people can live in mutual trust and respect to each other, that all may share with justice the resources of the earth. We pray that your people have a spirit of unselfishness, have a spirit of compassion and fairness in public and private life. We pray for ourselves and for each other, for our family, our friends, our neighbours, those who live near us, those whom we don't know. We pray that you send your light and truth among us, that you give us a sense of your presence and of your truth, that you command us and commend us by the example of those around us, by our leaders, by our faith community. Lord, we pray for the sick and the struggling, for those whose lives are affected by illness or disease, for those who are affected by mental health struggles, physical struggles, emotional struggles. We pray for your compassion and your healing to be with them as you lay your hand upon them and give them a sense of yourself with them. Lord, we pray for those who have gone before us, giving thanks for the faithful departed and for those whose faith is known only to you. We hold before you the names and faces of those who have asked for prayer and those in our loved ones and our lives who have died and we see no more. As we hold their faces before you, Lord, hear us, be with us, Hold us and love us. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lighten our darkness, Lord, we pray, and in your great mercy defend us from all perils and dangers of this night. For the love of your only Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us praise the Lord. Thanks be to God. Since we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, let us run with perseverance the race that is set before us, looking to Jesus, the pioneer and perfecter of our faith. Amen. Thank you so much for joining us for evening prayer this evening. It's been lovely that we are able to meet in this way with this medium. I pray that as you move forward from this place, you enjoy the rest of your evening, have a restful sleep and wake refreshed in the morning and I'll see you next time. Bye bye for now. If you enjoyed this video, please like or comment below. If you'd like to be notified when more videos are available, subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you need to contact us, our details are here on the screen. Or check out our website at www.stpeterswinham.org. Thank you. Bye-bye for now. God bless.